Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a very special recipe of Jalebi. Jalebi means honey pretzel. It is a very tasty and popular sweet in India. And today I am going to make beetroot jalebi. Beetroot jalebi is not like it's sounding. It's something different. But the process is not different from the regular jalebis. It's very easy recipe. So guys, let's see the recipe. Today I am going to make instant jalebi from rice flour and besan. Besan means chickpea flour. And now I am taking 1 cup of rice flour. And the same quantity of besan. Besan means chickpea flour or gram flour. It's also 1 cup. The same quantity of uh, rice flour and besan. So I am adding it. And with it I am adding some salt to taste. Uh, 1 4 teaspoon of salt and half tablespoon of baking soda so now we need to mix everything nicely and after that we have to add water little by little and make a thick dough dough or batter as you call it don't add too much water at a time because we need to maintain the consistency of the batter we need a thick batter just like the cake batter just like the consistency of the cake batter i'm using a hand whisker you may use a spoon there is no problem it also work for it and now our lumps free batter is ready as you can see and I am showing you the consistency it is like the cake batter and now we need to rest it for about 20 to 25 minutes and within this time the rice flour and the basin that means chickpea flour will soak water and the consistency of the batter will be little thicker I am beating it a little and after that I am going to cover it for about 20 to 25 minutes so it's okay and within this time we need to make the chashni that means sugar syrup for making the sugar syrup I am taking 3 cups of sugar and 1 cup of water the water quantity should be one third of the sugar quantity this is the perfect measurement so I am adding 1 cup of water And now I am going to show you the magic thing. This is the beetroot powder. I cut the beetroot into small pieces and dried them up in the sun. And after that I made a smooth powder. I mean fine powder in mixer grinder. So here is the powder. I am going to use this beetroot powder as a food color in this sugar syrup. So it is the main attraction of this recipe. We don't need any food color for this. But if you don't have this powder, you may use food color, there is no problem. And you may make your jalebis without food color as well, there is no problem. And along with this, we need to add some flavor. So I am going to use some cardamom powder, green cardamom powder, 1 teaspoon. I made this powder in mixer grinder with some sugar. So the flavor of this powder is quite strong. I am adding 1 teaspoon of this powder and mixing it nicely. And after that, we need to boil it. So let's do the process to make the chashni that means sugar syrup. The color was looking light to me so I have added some more uh, beetroot powder to it. And now after mixing nicely I have turned the heat on. And now I am going to add some lemon juice. About half teaspoon of lemon juice I am adding. This is because of the sugar syrup is quite thick and as it thickens the sugar begins to crystallize again that means it becomes sugar again so we need to stop this process prevent this process and the lemon juice will do the same so i am adding half teaspoon of lemon juice after adding the lemon juice we need to wait for some time until the sugar dissolves in the syrup so we need to stir it continuously so after some time the sugar is dissolved fully and it has started to boil I am checking the syrup on. We need a sticky syrup. So I am checking it and uh, it is sticky. We just need to bring the syrup to a boil. And now we don't need to boil this syrup anymore. We need to turn the heat off and cover the pan. So in the meantime our batter is ready. Let's check the batter. So guys you may see that the consistency of the batter is little thicker than before. So it is perfect for making jalebis. For making jalebis, you may use a piping bag or a sauce bottle or any kind of plastic bag, there's no problem. I'm taking a salt bag, a packet of salt. This is the packet. I'm going to use this corner for piping. So, 
let's pour batter into the packet for easiness to pour the batter i am taking a glass and putting the packet in the glass like this as like i am showing you this is the easy process and now we need to pour the batter into the packet like this so now we need to close the packet with a rubber band or anything actually i didn't find the rubber band so i'm taking a clip hair clip and i close the packet before making jalebis i'll cut the corner and it will be easy to pipe so guys let's go for the oil process i have taken a fry pan and now i'm adding oil to it about half inch of oil i have added and we need a medium hot oil and the oil is now medium hot now we need to pipe the jalebis and you may notice that i have taken the vessel of sugar syrup near to the pan so that i can dip the jalebis in the sugar syrup quickly after frying and the sugar syrup also needs to be warm and uh, i'm piping the jalebis one by one i'm not so expert for these guys so the shapes are not perfect that's not a matter the jalebis should be perfectly crispy and they should absorb the sugar syrup perfectly is the main thing i'm frying them on medium heat until they are crispy We don't need a brown or red color of the jalebis. We just need to make them crispy. So I'm taking one of them. That's a little brighter than others. And now we need to dip the jalebi in the sugar syrup quickly. And I'm dipping the jalebi in the sugar syrup with the help of this strainer. I'll take out the jalebis from the oil one by one and dip them in the sugar syrup. We need to keep them in the syrup for about 20 to 25 seconds only. And after that, we need to remove them. So now I'm removing them and taking them out into a plate. You can understand that they absorb the syrup perfectly. You can see them. They look translucent because of absorbing the sugar syrup. So now I'm taking them off into a plate. And in the same process we need to remove all of them and dip them in the sugar syrup and after that we need to remove them. So let's do the same process for all the jalebis and now I am going to fry the next batch. Here are the jalebis you can see guys they absorb the sugar syrup very perfectly. So guys here are our jalebis. I am showing you the crispiness of them and you may see the juice in the jalebi. It's fully perfect jalebi to eat. It's very yummy and crispy and full of juice. And you have seen the recipe guys, the recipe is not very hard, it's so easy recipe. So guys try this simple and yummy recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, hope to meet you in the next video, bye bye, take care.